On Sunday, we heard Jesus tell the, the parable of the unmerciful servant, and we saw his patient love in contrast uh, to, to the ways that we often will, will hold grudges and hold on to, and to people's sins and, and hold them against them and things like that. Um, this huge patient love that he has for us, that he would forgive all of our debts, uh, is what, uh, what we need to be uh, driven by in our day-to-day -day living. Uh, and if someone has sinned against us, we, we should want to win them back. And not pay them back, not get even with them, but win them back, get to a point where, where we get to say, I forgive you, and then treat them as if it is gone, as if it really is forgiven in heaven and on earth. Uh, one way to, to move in that direction is to try to uh, get past little annoyances. And so there's some things that, that people do that and we wouldn't call it a sin against us, uh, but maybe it just grates on our ears and we don't like the way that they do it. Maybe we don't like that they chew their food as loud as they do. We wouldn't necessarily call that a sin, uh, just really annoying. Um, but think about that today. Think about those little annoyances that you have. Think about moving more in the direction of patient love than that person is chewing in the wrong way, which is that, that way of judgment and, and uh, looking for uh, people to change their behavior. Um, can you be patient with someone who is annoying you? Think about the little annoyances that you have today. Uh, and don't be okay with being annoyed by them. Make a change when it comes to that, because if you can't get past some little things, then when someone has sinned against you, do you really think that you're going to be willing to forgive? So think today on the smaller things, uh, the things that are not sins against you, but just things that you don't really like that grate at you a little bit. And try to get past that. Be patient with the way that other people chew their food. <laughs> Try to make that change in your life. And by God's grace, that change can happen and greater changes can happen because uh, the Holy Spirit is working through his word to bring us to repentance, to a change of mind, away from holding grudges about sin and being annoyed by little things and more towards the mind of Christ, uh, mind of, of patient love. This is the love that has been shown to us in our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the way that we chew our food does not grate at his ears. He is patient with us. The sins that we have committed, things that we don't even want to think about, he has died for so that in heaven they are not remembered. Have his patient love to be driven by today. Peace be with you.